every morning I wake up, the first thing is always, ouch, hitting my head into the low ceiling. I've never lived in a loft apartment before, and this is my first time. It takes me a while to get used to it. Maybe I'm just goofy? Nothing wrong with that. Life is supposed to be fun-loving, isn't it? Why need to be so serious all the time? First thing I do every morning is always to open the curtain because I love to see the sun and the lights. I think that's the best medicine for mental health. Oh, and the amazing view outside of my window. It's just some of those simple things that make me happy. Today is a Sunday. I'm just getting up at 10.30 a.m. I know it's hard for a lot of people to get out of their beds in the morning. But for me, once I'm awake, it's not difficult to roll out physically. The hardest part is actually to be awake from my brain. Many people like to start their days early and do as many tests as possible in the morning. That's just not for me. This may sound counterintuitive, but morning is when I actually take time to slow down and relax so that I can accumulate enough energy for the entire productive day. I think setting the right tone for the day is super important. If I pack a lot of things for my morning, I'll just end up getting tired before noontime, which will be wasting the rest of my day. I have very simple skincare routines. In the morning, I just have a spray to refresh myself. I feel very thirsty every morning. I always pour myself a big jar of water and I also like to put some lemon because it's refreshing and good for health. And I drink them all. Instead of making a coffee or tea at home, I like to go downstairs to buy a local Singaporean milk tea called Desi Gao Kosong during the week. Or on the weekend, I usually get something fancier but still simplest ever, no ice, no sugar, no boba kind of milk tea from a bubble tea shop downstairs. This allows me to get some fresh air outside and a gentle 5 minute morning walk. It does the trick to wake me up from my brain. After I relax until 11am ish, I will start doing something. On the weekend, I mainly spend time on my creative work. I like to start my day by reading emails that I missed the night before. If you have seen my previous video about how to improve productivity, you know that I always follow my calendar of the day. So I'll click into my calendar and see what I have for the day. On the weekend, I usually like to have appointment free days so that I can trail more. Today, I schedule myself a swimming session at noon because during the weekdays, I don't get to do any exercise. I try to work out on the weekends. And I like to work out at noon because I enjoy sun tanning when the sun is strongest at 12 p.m. Yes, I love natural vitamin D. I used to be pretty bad at applying sunblock, but now I make a mental note to myself that I need to protect my skin. I'm very grateful that there's a swimming pool in my residence building. Sitting and working at the desk too long always make my neck painful. And swimming is a really great therapy for neck and back problems. So I'll try to do 20 laps today. Coming back from swimming, I like to take a relaxing shower and wash the chemicals from the pool off my hair. Even though I'm not going out, I still like to spray myself perfume at home because I just love smelling good. The most important thing is feeling good about yourself, isn't it? Why spray perfume for others only when you go out but not for yourself at home? Then I continue to drink my milk tea. I confess I have some unhealthy habits, which is that I don't eat a lot during the day because I don't digest well during the day and have problems with food coma. So I'm just snacking, but at night, I can eat two to three dinners and digest better. On Sunday, I usually clean my home, vacuum the floor, do my laundry, make the air scented. A clean and good smelling home makes me feel happy and I'll work on my YouTube video scripts and planning the next few videos. Around 3.30 p.m., I'm going out to get some desserts. 
I'm a matcha fan, so I found a nice matcha cafe and I'm meeting up with my Latin dance classmates today who also just moved to Singapore. At 5 p.m., I come back and continue to write my video scripts. I start getting hungry at 6 p.m. For my first dinner tonight, I'm cooking pan seared Norwegian salmon sticks with cumin and spicy sauteed broccoli on the side. If you guys like to see more of my cooking, make some comments below too. I enjoy the experience of eating good food. So I spend an hour every day really enjoying every single dinner of mine. We work so hard during the week to make livings, just to buy food and live our life. Why not just enjoying this process whenever we can? I seriously think I make the best salmon ever. It's so crispy. Munching snacks at night is one of the activities that make me feel super relaxed. Anytime you open my kitchen closet, I always have a lot of snacks. And I would totally spend my time enjoying eating them. And I like to turn on my KTV lights and play some jazz music. Have a shot of whiskey at the balcony. Really just enjoying the romantic nights all by myself. The nighttime is always so romantic. The dim light from another building far away, the calmness of the city, the dark and deep sky. There's nothing else I want to do really, but just to stare at the beauty of the sky, the night, and have a toast to the romance. For a late night snack, I either cook or order some food delivery online. Today, I'm making spicy aglio oglio with spams. It's really yummy, by the way. I usually go to bed at 12 a.m., but I continue to use my phone until 1 or 2 a.m. in the bed to reply to some messages I've missed during the day. Sometimes I just don't want to sleep until very late because I'm so attracted to the peaceful and romantic vibes of the night. And I want to stay up watching the sky and the city at night. But now, it's time for bed. Good night, everyone. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give a thumb up, subscribe, and share my video. See you next Saturday, 11 a.m. Singapore time.